An icy aftermath after a day of rain for the viewing area. Local officials are warning residents that roads are coated with ice and urging drivers to stay off the road unless it's an emergency. TV 5's Kendall Keys reports on the mess now left behind and the timeline for the cleanup. This is about the worst conditions possible to be uh, driving around a blade truck. Dave Petters, managing director for the Gladwin County Road Commission, tipping his hat to his drivers after what he calls the most challenging day in a very long time. Even when we chain up, the trucks are going 10, 12 miles an hour at most. Everywhere they go is slippery. Everywhere they're, they're turning, they, it, it takes them 10 times longer to do it. Every time they'd get something cleared out, it would, it would ice back over. I'm here in Saginaw County, close to I-75, and I'm watching cars, and they do seem to be traveling at about a normal rate of speed. But just this back road that I'm on is a solid sheet of ice. And further north up in Gladwin County, it's even worse. We've had multiple roads that are unsafe to drive on. They're extremely slick. This morning were multiple accidents with cars in the ditches. Bob North is the emergency management director for Gladwin County and points out even emergency vehicles struggle on ice. There have been some uh, slowdowns or difficulties on medical responses. Uh, we're advising everybody to please stay home and don't drive unless it's absolutely an emergency. That uh, It'll be take some time to get help to you if something goes wrong. North and Petters say it'll be a while until the roads are safe. Uh, we're not getting a break. The temperature is going to continue to fall. It's just going to be a long cleanup with the temp temperatures diving for the next four or five days. There's just not a lot we can do with this much ice. For WNEM TV 5, I'm Kendall Keyes.